Okay guys, so what I'm gonna teach you guys now is how to install um, a software tool called Chateau. Um, the purpose of Chateau is essentially to provide a way to manipulate and use your RethinkDB data without creating any queries and without knowing the query language. So you can do it all from the UI. Um, if you're familiar with uh, MySQL um, and PHP, there's a very common tool called PHP Admin, and it does the same thing, but it does it for MySQL. Chateau is the PHP My Admin for RethinkDB. Um, PHP My Admin just gives you a, 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 a web user interface where you can just click into the cell and make the change and then save it. and under the hood, it's creating those query languages, the select from where equals uh, uh, MySQL query language. Um, so Chateau just lets, lets you interact with the data without having to know the query language, which is, you know, fair enough. Um, there might be people who want to insert, change, or edit some things manually, and they don't know the query language. So it has a valid use case. And sometimes the query language is clumsier than just clicking into a cell and making a change. Um, so I, I felt a need to install this, even though I do know the query language. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, this tool was developed by um, this individual here, um, Mitchell, I guess. I guess that's Mitchell. Um, he used to work at RethinkDB, now works at Google, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, he actually helped me install it um, over Twitter. I had some questions. Um, and I'm, yeah, I actually ran into a couple issues installing it. So I'm going to walk you guys through that. Um, but what we have so far is we spun up our digital ocean droplet, um, Nginx tutorial, and then um, we created an Nginx web server. So if we go to the IP here, um, it does pull up Nginx. We also installed RethinkDB on the same IP, and we exposed this web admin tool on port 3000. Um, so this is our, our web server, and then we go to 3000, and it pulls up the, uh, the web admin tool. Um, as far as data goes, we have two databases, um, and one of the databases has a table called users, and users has some data. I'll show you guys real quick what it has. So we have two entries, um, one ID, miss, username, password, and then ID, password, username. Um, so we have some data. So, so the question is here is, so say this was a real production database and I wanted to change uh, misc, um, I wanted to change this value here, I'd have to know the query language. Um, and you know, it's, it's for something like that, it, where it's a one-off and if someone doesn't know the query language it can be a little difficult. I think how we do that knowing the query language I think what you would do is filter um, you would pass it first you have to filter for the exact entry you want so so I'm saying hey give me back the entry where misc equals some stuff all right, so now we have the entry, and now we want to update the misc property. New stuff. That should do what we want. So let's fill. Let's uh, let's list. That no longer works because we've changed it. Let's list the whole thing. So now we changed new stuff, but I had to write out that whole, you know, requal query, and I don't know, um, it can just be a little clumsy. Whereas if we had a, a web UI tool, I could just kind of like click in here and edit it, and you know, especially for I, I have people I work with who don't know the query language, um, so it's a lot easier to have a web interface. So, anyways, that's the point of Chateau. Um, so let's go ahead and install Chateau. Um, Chateau requires um, Node, I believe. Um, 
So we might have to install node as well. So let me just see here. Um, let's just pull up the GitHub page and we can walk you through it. Okay, so let's, um, yeah, so this is utilizing NPM. We actually don't have node installed yet. So we're gonna go back one and say, install node on Ubuntu. Um, should be straightforward. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Coolio. So I throw this command over here. Let's try that. So we're logged into um, our DigitalOcean droplet here. But again, we you know we only downloaded Nginx and we only downloaded um, RethinkDB. So we, we actually need to add node. Um, so I develop in node, so usually it's there, but uh, not on this box yet. So we are installing node right now. Okay, looking good. So we're going to run this next command here. All right, it says we have node, so let's check it out. Yep, node 6.2.2. .2. So not bad. Um, I don't think there's any config stuff we have to do for node right now. Um, you know, no, it's not doing anything at this point, um, obviously. Um, you know, we could uh, we could definitely try something. Um, do vim test.js. Let's do console.log node ran. So I'm going to run the node. Yeah, so we are running JavaScript on the server which is the essence of Node. Um, cool, so now we want to install Chateau, because again, this is for our purpose here is um, to get our user interface uh, for RethinkDB working. So let's just follow that here. So I'm going to pull Oh, so it looks like you didn't actually need to um, install it from Node, um, but I guess that's what I'm going to do here. So, so sudo Okay, so we're installing Chateau globally. I've never read it. That looks interesting. Um, so it says it's installed, and let's run it. This is the Chateau command. Let's see if this works here. Configuration file does not exist. Using default one instead. Ports already used by another process. You can update config.js to use another port. So let's actually go into our chateau um, directory and let's see what's going on there so it lives in user bin chateau or rather user lib node module chateau so let's try this user lib node modules there it is 
So apparently it needs some sort of config file. Um, cp config file config.js see what's that so I just copied the, 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 the template and I created a real one called config.js um, you have to do that I believe um, and now I'm going to see what's going on in that file so the file is, it looks for okay what what port does rethink DB use? This is the default, so that should be good. Um, ports used by Express. Of course, um, 3000 is actually a port we're using for something else. We're using 3000 to stand up the, the web admin page here, so we're going to change this. Um, Change it to four thousand. All right. Um, so let's try to run the command again, the chateau command. See if this works. Okay. So it says that chateau is up and running, and it's standing on port four thousand. So let's see if that is true. So again, this is our IP. Um, so let's take our IP. Let's open up a new tab, throw it in there. Or we have our Nginx web server. But let's throw in port 4000 and see what happens. The site can't be reached. Refused connection. So it says it's listening on port 4000, so there's some sort of discrepancy. Um, let's try... So, yeah, if I control C, it stops the server. So what I'm going to do is, because I want to keep this up and running, I'm going to log into... Um, I'm just going to open up another shell, uh, and we are going to log in to there. Actually, you know what I can do? Let's stand it up in the background. So that should be running it in the background on port 4000. Yeah, right here. Perfect. So I want to see why. There should be a web page that serves back. We should be getting a web page here. Yeah, we are. So the issue it seems like is um, Chateau's running, it's standing up its web page, all looks good. The problem is we can't, we're not um, able to. It's not publicly exposed. It's only exposed to localhost when you're on the server, but it's not exposed to the uh, IP. So I think that is in the cont file. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the uh, Chateau instance here. So and then I'm going to go into the cont file. So here. Yeah, we're exposing it to localhost, but let's run it on our IP. I think that's what we actually want. And break. Um, well, yeah, let's try it. Okay, so um, by default, it's just it's it's only exposed to localhost. We exposed it to the IP. Um, it is running. 
you can see Express Server listening on port 4000. And we now have Chateau. Um, so, you know, initially it looks like um, it looks like the admin tool here, um, but it is different because so if we want to manipulate data with the admin tool, we have to come to the data explorer and we have to start constructing our requel queries. Um, but with Chateau, there is going to be no query construction. So it's all going to be done from a, a GUI perspective. So let's go into our table users and I'll show you guys how that's done. So we have the same thing going on here. Fort Knox, Tim, and we have our, our table miss. Let's edit this. Say I wanted to edit misc. You know, before I had to I had to come up with, you know, this commit. I had to come up with this, which, you know, if you know the language, it's not that bad, but it's still kind of cumbersome. So with Chateau, because it's um, all GUI based, uh, graphical user interface, we could just come over to edit and I could just do um, even newer stuff update and it changes the content there so I'm gonna do a list over here and we should be able to see that change get propagated so it's new stuff even newer stuff so Chateau gives you the ability to edit your stuff without without knowing the query language um, which is, is great for people who don't know how to construct the queries. And even if you do, honestly, like there are many use cases where this makes more sense. Um, like, say for instance, the, um, the field is content and it's all HTML. You know, going in and changing one little character is really hard with, <laughs> with um, doing, constructing a query. But with this, it's, it's really, really easy. So, um, you know, that's the essence of, of Chateau. You can do the same things, add database, whatever. Um, but, it, you know, it gives you that access uh, from, the, from a UI perspective. So that is Chateau.